Hey everyone, it's The Life Doctor here, and I want to welcome you to a very special episode of Testimony Tuesday. Now, the reason why this particular Testimony Tuesday is so important and special to me is because I'm going to be sharing with you how I have lost over 65 pounds um, at this point, and I'm still going. I'm still not quite where I want to be, but Lord knows I've come a long way. Um, I know in a previous video I shared that I was going to be, you know, giving a testimony video about um, basically my weight loss journey and the things that I've experienced and just, you know, uh, bringing you information to maybe help you along your life's journey as it pertains to weight loss. But um, this is not that video. Uh, that video is going to probably be a lot more detailed than this. And because it's going to be happening in the future, uh, it's going to be uh, involving even more weight loss information because at that point I would have lost even more weight than I have at this point. Um, but as I was thinking about content to share with you and what to praise God about and and, and just what to celebrate. I, I, I came back to where I am in my journey right now, and I just don't want to minimize how far the Lord has brought me. And so I figured I'd kind of do this abridged or short version of my journey. And then, of course, like I said, I will bring you an updated journey um, maybe a month or so from now, whenever I um, I am at you know my goal weight and I've made even more progress. So I hope that I don't get too emotional. Um, I'm just so grateful to have this opportunity because God is so good. You know, I think that if people, Lord, I'm tearing up. Okay, I'm going to try to get through this. I think that when people look at me, um, and not just now, but as they've looked at me over the years, people that have grown up with me, family, friends, what have you, I don't know that they would have necessarily viewed me as somebody that struggled with weight. Um, I don't think that I've ever been obese um, at any point in my life, but I've certainly been overweight and I've certainly been unhappy. Um, I think that because of my family's religious um, standards and religious upbringing, there are certain dietary habits that we have had over the years, all of my life really, that have helped to preclude me and my family members from certain things that maybe other people are exposed to because, um, you know, of the things that we refrain from eating. Um, so maybe in that way, even at my heaviest states, I have been relatively healthy. I don't know. But certainly I have been unhappy um, over the course of my life, you know, even as a child, I'm not saying that I was unhappy consistently, but there have been moments and pockets where I have been very unhappy with the way I looked because of my weight. Uh, some of it was probably just in my head and some of it was based in reality. And um, that's kind of the dynamic or the dilemma that we face, particularly as women living in this society, because we have so many different things bombarding us with what you're supposed to look like, what beauty is supposed to look like, whether it's regard to shade, height, size, hair, texture, whatever. There are so many things that we are wrestling with as young ladies, and certainly I wrestled with those things. Um, so I'm not going to give you too much of a history in terms of my childhood and my weight. I will save that for a future video. But I want to talk about, I guess, you know, the beginning of this particular journey in reference to having my last child, um, my daughter, who is 19 months, going on 20 months, going to be 20 months very soon. And I, I remember that when I was pregnant with my son, who's going to be five in the fall, I remember when I was pregnant with him, I said to myself, man, if I get pregnant again, I am not going to gain as much weight as I gained with him. And I gained about 60 pounds with him. Um, and I said, oh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to eat right. I'm going to, okay, that, no, 
I so I gained 60 with him how about I gained like 80 85 I think 80 with my daughter I was just fat and happy just eating what I want to eat just pregnant and loving life so needless to say um, I knew that I was going to have a task ahead of me after giving birth to my daughter and I just figured that even though I knew it wasn't going to be easy, it would just be like it was last time after, you know, giving birth to my son. After having him, I lost all of the weight and I got back to almost the size that I was when I walked down the aisle. And and when I got married, I was probably a size 7 but could get into a size 5, 6. Um, matter of fact, I had lost so much weight um, when I was getting married that my feet shrunk a little bit. But anyway, so I was kind of heading in that direction and pr for the most part, pretty much there. So I figured, yeah, same thing, no problem. No, that that wasn't, I was mistaken. I was mistaken. So, of course, those of you who have been pregnant, uh, you know that after giving birth, you lose a good amount of weight just without trying because you lose weight just from having had the baby uh, you lose water weight uh, you know if you were swollen and retaining water that goes away um, you know you're, if you're breastfeeding then that helps as well so you know within the first couple of months first few months after um, I had my daughter I lost maybe a good 25 30 pounds without trying without trying to do anything on purpose um and so the weight that was lost after that which is about um 40 pounds or so that was where my real effort came into play and so for me what i tried to do was i tried to do it on my own just you know make better choices on my own i don't need any kind of apps i'm not going to use weight watchers mind you i had used weight watchers to help me lose weight with my when i had my son but i wasn't gonna do weight watchers i'm not paying for anything i can do it on my own no i couldn't because it didn't work okay so then I said okay well I'm going to sign up for races like 5k's 10k's and that way I'm gonna have to train and therefore lose the weight and so I did that I signed up for a 5k race and I did train and I lost maybe another 10 pounds or so um, but to me the amount of training and exercising that I was doing excuse me I have to wipe my nose this is due to me this is due to me tearing up earlier um okay so I lost about 10 pounds or so but I felt like with the amount of running and training that I was doing that did not match 10 pounds that to me should have been way more so then I had to reevaluate okay well what's going on it was my eating I was still not eating right I was still addicted to sugar I believe that I was um I was just I was eating crazy. I was eating late at night um, and just not doing right in terms of eating. So I was exercising consistently and I went on to run my 5k and I did it in the time that I'd set that I would do it. So I was proud of myself. I had, I had accomplished that goal, but I was still not losing weight relative to the amount of exercise that I was doing. And so I had to really go back and evaluate what was going on. And so I revisited this whole notion of being accountable for my food, like with Weight Watchers or something along those lines. And I knew that I didn't want to necessarily pay for something. So then I began to research other apps similar to something like Weight Watchers um, that were free. And I said, well, maybe I can use uh, Lose It because Lose It is an app that I was familiar with. But I was like, I just don't feel like doing that. I had tried Spark People. I just wasn't feeling that either. And then I came across something called My Fitness Pal, which I know I've shared with you guys before. And can I just tell you that when I started using My Fitness Pal, it made all the difference in the world. Now, I had to get to a place mentally where I was going to be okay with having to document my food and be accountable and log everything in and have something spit out, you know, spit out to me what I, the amount of calories that I can consume for the day. Um, and once I made the decision that this is what I need to do, because when you're on your journey, you have to get real with yourself. And I was deluding myself thinking that I could do this on my own or at least without that kind of an app and I could not. So once I got out of that and I and I accepted where I was, then that's when the true change really happened. So 
along with being accountable for what I was eating and not eating crazy um, in terms of, of the portions, it also helped me to think about other things that I was doing that needed tweaking too that I might have been in denial about, like eating late at night. So I cut that out. I said, you know what? I cannot continue eating late at night. This is ridiculous. Now, mind you, you know, my daughter was a little bit younger then, and so she was staying up and, and not going to sleep or waking up in the night and just being a baby. And so I was up late. Plus, I'm a, I'm a night owl anyhow. So I justified it to myself, reasons why I should be able to eat because I'm hungry anyhow. I'm not just eating just to eat. I really am hungry. Listen, I told myself, if I want to lose weight and be serious about this, then I need to cut that out and I need to do it right now. And so I just remember one evening I said, I'm not eating tonight or any other night because just like my body is accustomed to getting food, receiving food at this late hour, I can retrain my system to not get food past a certain time. So generally speaking, I don't eat past 7, 730. Now, if it's the weekend or, or if we're at a party, I mean, that's a little bit different. But in terms of my lifestyle, what I do on a regular basis, I don't eat late at night. I don't. And so that, so that coupled with exercising portion control really, really made a difference. Now, when I stopped running my races and stopped training for that and the weather got a little colder, I fell out of the habit of exercising on a consistent basis. So that wasn't good. Um... And so my exercise has been spotty. I would do Insanity, I did Zumba and different things like that, but it just wasn't consistent. But what was consistent was the portion control with the um, my fitness pal and the not eating at night. And of course, not just portion control, but I tried to make wise choices about what I was eating. So I did a lot of substitutions and I still do. So instead of pasta, I'll have zucchini noodles or um, I've cut out wheat for the most part. So if, if I am going to have pasta, then maybe I'll do rice pasta um, and just things like that. I'll eat um, spelt bread or just gluten-free bread altogether, things like that. So I'm really trying to make those changes and be consistent with that. Um, but here recently, I've signed up for another race. And so now I'm getting back into what I really enjoy doing, which is running. And so so yesterday was my first day really training for this race. Um, I did some strength-based um, training as well as stretching. And today I hit the pavement and I went running. And can I just tell you that I feel so alive and I'm sorry that I'm getting choked up. I feel my throat tightening up because I'm trying not to cry. But I just thank God for where he's brought me. He's brought me so far. People who are slim their whole lives, I know you can't really, don't really understand what it's like to come from a place of just not being happy, being overweight, possibly being unhealthy. And then the Lord giving you the strength to continue failure after failure, but you get up again and I know that this is nothing but the grace of God and yes my family my husband is so supportive and I thank God for him because because of his support I'm able to go out and exercise and do the things that I need to do um and because I work from home with an awesome company I'm able to be flexible enough to do the things that I need to do for my health. So I praise God for that. And then people at my church and just friends who are so supportive. I couldn't have done anything that I've done. I couldn't have gotten this far to where I am currently a size 7, 8. I am currently able to wear the clothes that I couldn't wear before. I'm currently wearing clothes that I wore when I was first married. There are some clothes that I wear, that I have, that were the clothes that I wore when I was first married. And some of those items are too big. And I just never thought. It just seemed so impossible sometimes. And I gave up so many times because I felt like my efforts were not 
matching what I saw on the scale. And I just thank God for how far he's brought me. And I know he's not finished with me yet. And this is not just about losing weight, although a huge portion is. And I don't want to minimize that. But it's not just about losing weight. It's about believing in myself. It's about being healthy. It's about setting a good example for my children, particularly my daughter. I don't want her to have body image issues. It's about feeling sexy. It's about feeling good. It's about being more confident with my husband. It's about so many things. It's about setting an example to the community about how to be healthy. And I just thank God for where he's brought me and I know he has more work for me to do where this is concerned and um I'm just so happy to be able to share my journey with you again I apologize for getting emotional but this is a big deal for me and um you know just continue to keep me in prayers and I will continue to keep you in prayers as you go along your journey. If you need further motivation, help, if you want to share your journey with me, then comment below, hit me up on Facebook, contact me, and let's share in this journey together. So anyway, I just, I'm just so thankful. This is my testimony. I am at least 65 pounds lighter now than I was um, when I was pregnant with my daughter, and I just say, to God be the glory, great things he has done and is continuing to do in my life. And if he's done it for me, he can certainly do it for you. So be encouraged, stick with it. If you've fallen, if you've failed, get back up and keep going because it can happen. It will happen. Let's make 2015 our best year yet. All right, so give this video a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, you can do so now. It's absolutely free. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.